Hey guys, so in today's video I'll be teaching you the two different ways to shoot a time lapse. I'll be going over the more simpler way which you can do with any camera you want and I'll also be going over the more professional way which will make it look ten times better. But first let's talk about the core features that you need in every time lapse. So firstly the camera needs to be steady to make a good looking time lapse, which pretty much means that you have to use a tripod of some sort. And if it's a windy day, add some sandbags to the tripod to make sure that it doesn't blow around in the wind. Now for exposure, stay in manual as usual, but this is where the problem kicks in. You have to anticipate the weather changes throughout your time lapse. Now this is a really frustrating part about filming the time lapses, and that's when the weather keeps on changing from really cloudy to really sunny, and it just ruins your time lapse. But some Sometimes it's better off to come back another day and try it again. Now the next tip is a part that I've actually been integrated into my time lapses recently and that is to actually add audio to them. So pretty much the way I do that is when I do a time lapse I get my road video might go and just record some audio for it and then in post production add that to my time lapse. Just because I think it's much more filling and I also think that visuals are rather empty without audio to them. So things like sunsets, sunrises and also clouds really hand themselves to time lapses just because they move so slowly. And the thing is the plan that you need to do to make a sunset or sunrise time lapse is actually really easy. You just need to Google when the sun rises and also when the sun sets and just pretty much show up like 10 minutes before that and then just film. And also if you're going to film some cloud time lapses just watch the weather forecast and see whenever it's cloudy in your area. So I'm now going to teach you how to actually shoot time lapses. Okay so the first way to film a time lapse is definitely the easiest and you can do this with any camera you have whether that's your phone, whether that's your DSLR or your 1DX Mark II. Pretty much get your tripod, you get your camera and and you set it up and just film something. You wait for around 10 to 15 minutes and then you stop recording and then pretty much you just put it into your video editing software and speed it up and voila you have a time lapse. It is literally that simple. There are definitely pros and cons to this way of filming a time lapse so let's go over them. So first of all with the pros, this doesn't take any time or effort at all. Well it does actually take time, it takes quite a lot of time. But this doesn't take really much time or effort to actually do. You just set your camera up and then you speed it up in post. Another positive thing about it is that you can use any camera you want to film these. Now let's talk about the bad things that you have about filming a time lapse like, like this, and that is that it takes so much storage. Lit pretty much you are taking a 10 minutes, a 10 min minutes plus long video and that is a lot of storage for your camera. So make sure you at least have a 32 gigabyte SD card because anything smaller than that you're not really going to be able to get by on making a good long time lapse of it. Now the next one about this is that you're not able to use a nice long shutter speed to do this because pretty much with DSLRs I think you know, the minimum uh, shutter speed that you can go down to is 1 30th. So you can't have it so you have a nice long 10 second uh, shutter speed which you need for astrophotography. That is the main problem of this. But to be honest, other than that, it is perfectly fine. It's a nice and easy way. You don't get much motion blur, which is the problem of the shutter speeds. But other than that, it is a nice, easy way to uh, start making time lapses and also make them like nice and easily, minimum effort, a nice thing to do in your pastime. But now let's talk about the more professional way to film a time lapse. Okay, so to film a professional time lapse, you need one more piece of equipment. I'll just get it. You need one of these, and you're probably wondering what this is, and this is an interferometer. So pretty much you plug this into your camera and you're able to set the intervals and how long it lasts and how many photos it takes. And it's pretty much like a remote or like a program type thing to like muse your camera so you don't have to wait there every three seconds to take a picture. It automatically does automatically does that with you, for you. Now the good things about using an interferometer to film a time lapse is that you're able to use long shutter speed and pretty much having a longer shutter speed allows you to have more motion blur in your photo and also if you're doing some night photography uh, you need a very long shutter speed to be able to actually get much light from the darkness pretty much. I really recommend to add motion blur into your time lapse just because it makes it look a bit more natural and it isn't less like choppy and like it it looks much better. Also using an interferometer is just handy because you don't have to press the button every five seconds which makes it much easier to actually go hours filming a time lapse and like and not having to press the button every three seconds because I think that'll be a bit boring after a while. And also if you press the button of your camera pretty much that gives you some like little shakes in your camera which can uh, transfer into your footage which doesn't look that nice. 
Another cool thing that you can do with these is that you're able to set the number of photos that you take so you can kind of see how long your uh, time lapse lasts for. So if you have a 24 frames per second timeline, pretty much, and you have 240 photos, that equals 10 seconds worth of videos. And another pro about this is that because you're taking a photo and not doing a video, the quality is much higher. So pretty much when you're doing a video, it's only actually a 2 megapixel uh, resolution. With this camera, it goes up to 18 megapixels uh, resolution. But the problem with this version is that pretty much you end up with like 240 photos which you have to transfer into your timeline. And also a little other like kind of pro to this is that this is literally only £10. Yep, this can make your uh, time lapses go from like amateur to professional for £10. But the only problem with this is that you have to make sure that your camera actually has a um, a remote plug thingy majiggy for it so you can't use this with your smartphone or anything like that you has to be used for a DSLR or SLR. Now let's again go over uh, how to actually shoot this time lapse pretty much you get your tripod you get your camera again but you don't go into video mode you pretty much go back you go into photo mode set up all your settings set up the exposure your aperture everything like that and then you plug this guy into it and then you set up how many uh, interval how long your interval is how many photos photos that you want to take on it and everything else also if you want any delay with it so you want to have it so it like waits 30 minutes before it does the time lapse or if you want to have it so it lasts for like two hours you're able to like adjust that We're using this and then you pretty much just press the start button on this and it goes along and it's just perfectly fine and then in post-production you just get all your photos put into your timeline and make each photo worth 1 24th of a second so pretty much you have 24 photos in one second worth of footage which is the same as a video so if you want to start using your time lapse this way you probably want to know a bit about the maths of it so pretty much 24 photos equals one second worth of footage so if you want to do a 10 second long time lapse you have to have 240 photos yeah, that's quite a lot. If you want to do like a 30 second time lapse, that's like 800, 900 or something. So yeah, it uses, it takes a lot of photos to, it takes a lot of photos and like time to make a time lapse. 